I just grew up there and that, that was my thing, you know. For me, it's always been a way of life and I think that it always will be, you know. People always say, you guys are just regular dudes. And we're like, yeah, we, we're no different. We're slaving away all summer long, you know, working in the heat, you know, just so we can have fun and live it up in the winter. That's the ultimate goal, I think, for a sponsored rider is to be OEM recognized and to be able to come on board and be involved with like marketing and that kind of stuff. Like, it's a home run for us. I've been racing for Articat for 23 years, and it's just a huge family, and we all work together, and we listen to each other, and we take ideas, and we run with them. Can I throw on the Rocky Mountain Rob? Or, yeah. Cause that's kind of. Oh, yeah. My name's Rob Kincaid, AKA Rocky Mountain Rob, and this is my elevation. That's, that, oh, that one. The little, sorry. Okay. Hey, Rob. Hey, how are you? The passion of competition kind of got me in the sport. I was always in high school sports and always a jock. and. No matter what I did, I, it seemed like I did it 100%. For me as an athlete, it's awesome because I'm gonna be uh, 46 years old this year. And for me, as long as Arctic Cat keeps building cool snowmobiles, I can keep doing this forever. It really don't take that much effort. I found myself overriding it half the time and I don't have to work that hard. If I was a coyote, I would live in this kind of country. They're survivors. They live in all habitats. You can see where that one come through them cliffs last night looking for an old lizard or something. I don't think there's lizards up there. There's lizards up here. Swan Valley, Idaho, little town of like, I don't think there's 200 people that live here. We have a stop sign, no stoplight anywhere. Growing up, all summer long, I'd mow lawns and save my money so I could buy snowmobiles, and I'd buy like 500 gallons of 91 octane. It's great being an ambassador for Arctic Cat, because at this point with the Black Cats, if someone follows Arctic Cat or knows Arctic Cat, they know us Black Cat riders. I don't know exactly what I did to make it happen, but it's what I've dreamed to do all my life. I feel like this is a yearly Ricker hit the nail on the head. Come here, Keely. Come on. Oh, and then you gotta get the in front of the lens, yeah. <laughs> Being able to leave right from the yard here at the Turcot compound is the ultimate dream and the terrain that I have in my backyard is, is amazing. The whole Articat brand is you know, really family oriented and that's something that I can really appreciate because you know at the end of the day like I'm just another family dude. I got four kids, a wife, and a house to take care of. Sometimes I almost forget that I'm a professional athlete and do this for a living, you know. Snowcross was my life for a lot of years. I missed Alaska, I missed riding, I missed being in the backcountry, and I kind of thought at that time that that was gonna be the end of my like career with snowbills. And that's kind of when I got more involved with Artie Cat on like the marketing side, and to be able to do any of the stuff that I do with them is pretty awesome. It's a really exciting time for Artie Cat right now. Every year we see these big improvements and like last year to this year, we've seen like a quantum leap with the alpha, the hardcore, like these sleds that are all anyone can talk about in the market.
almost 15 years I've been with Cat. I've always felt at home there. They're soul of the earth people that you can connect to easily. With the new sleds, I'm, I'm really excited to see where we go with it.